Well, I'd like to welcome everyone to this full moon journey in November. And we are waiting for Mickey to join us. Um, we have been having kind of crazy little um, technical glitches still, again, always, you know, it's the name of the game around here. Um, so Mickey was on and she just had to leave for a minute and oh okay so it it will be a minute so we are we are here um joe is here with me and and oh i see audrey is on hello audrey hello hello and um i'm so glad to see you here you know you're our girl so Joe's here in the room with me and Audrey is on Facebook. Um, I got two people on, I don't know. Please, anybody that joins us on Facebook, say hello so that we, you know, see you, know who you are. And our Mickey is coming on board here in one second. And here she comes. Well, it's coming slow. Oh, we lost her again. Oh my gosh. So we have been having trouble with internet all day long. So I will just, I will just start and I want to really, I'm so happy to see Audrey here. So last night when I posted this, Audrey put a note up, she was in the ER yesterday. And um, I, Mickey and I both sent her energy and as much support as possible. And um, she's home today and she's doing well. So we are so grateful to see you here, to have you here. There is our Mickey. Welcome, Mickey. That was hilarious, okay? <laughs> I, I got it and I laughed. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, you were kind of on yes, and then you went away. Yeah, and I came saw back. it disappear right before my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we were just talking a little bit about how crazy the internet's been today. Yes. You know, we were, we were talking <laughs> earlier and my internet wigged out so you know just bear with us if we freeze <laughs> what has happened is it's been coming back you know as we keep going so yeah yeah doreen oh, nice to see you again so audrey is on and hello audrey i hope you're doing much better oh God. Dr. Katya is on too. Hello, hello. Oh, and really? Carol is hello. on. Well, we have a full house. Hello, everyone. Oh, dear. <laughs> uh, let's see. Audrey said by the time she left, she was back to normal. Thank you both. Oh, gosh, Audrey, I, I only wish that you would have reached out to us sooner. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, we, we are just happened to be home. together at the same time getting the news. So it it did, and it was just one of those things. Mickey and I were like, "Okay, it's time," and then it wasn't even one minute later that I saw your post. <laughs> so I'm so glad. She says she's wonderful, and and you I'm are wonderful. Really glad. Yes. Very glad, and you know, so here we are, full moon time. Right. So one of the things we always say is put your crystals out in the energy in the light of the full moon. The full moon is very cleansing of your crystals, but it's cleansing of other things, too. It also cleanses emotions and it, cleans, it, it will cleanse to clear things from you, even even illnesses. Um, okay. Use the full moon accept the energy that it's giving you you know here here we are we all know what the full moon does to the tides right 
So as yeah. the flood comes around, it pulls those tides. It's pulling that water. It's releasing whatever it is from that water that doesn't need to be there anymore. Well, we are 70 to 75% water. So allow, allow the moon to pull anything from you that you don't need anymore, that doesn't belong to you anymore, that that is negative or toxic. Just let it, you know, but you have to let it go. You can't just like, oh, I can't, I got to keep it, keep it. No, let it go. Just let well, it go. Well, if you are aware of what challenge you're working on, etc you can write down what it is on a small piece of paper and then burn it it's just a, a symbol of you releasing the thing it's just gone it doesn't exist anymore and you release it you know so you can do it that way um or you can just flush it down the toilet do it with water or do it with fire mm -hmm. yes. and uh I would say that that's extremely appropriate this time because right at the very top of the chart is the sun and then the MC, which is the top, the line that says, this is the middle of the top. And then right on the other side of the line is Mars, which rules water, it rules Scorpio. So, you know, just like Pluto does. So all of those are the big players right now, but the sun and Mars have joined forces, that's heavy. That's heavy. That's your individuality and your sense of self is joining up with your sense of, I'm the warrior, I'm right, I'm going to, I stand for, well, when those two join up and they're opposing the moon, which is all the emotions, well, I really feel so and so, but I'm telling you, you know, so there's a big to do going on. And I mean, a full moon is already about an opposition. It's about pulling the things out that you put in place to say, project this. So now here we are at the point where you're going to say, well, how's it coming? Is it cooking yet? Is it, you know, so you want to open up aesthetically speaking and allow the things that you don't want to go. You want the manifestation of the thing you put in motion. You want things, everything's about movement now. And especially with the sun and Mars at the top. So, hey, this is it, folks. This is your last shot here to, to stick this stuff out there. And, and, you know, well, not actually the last shot. You'll have another one in December. But, <laughs> but this, is, this is your chance to whatever it is you want to end the year with. Start making your plan. Start figuring it out in your head and so forth. But today, actually yesterday, there's a big flow happening. And it yeah. can be abrupt and aggressive, as some yeah. of us know. It, it clearly started yesterday. Like it, it was, was sweeping it, out. It was a big deal yesterday. So, you know, during our new moon, we set intentions for receiving. And now is the time to be receiving. But again, we can clear out all that old stuff that is causing blockages or causing us to not have room for the new things so yeah this is a clean sweep you know clean house yeah. you know yeah. this is time to make room for the new stuff mm -hmm. yeah and allow mm -hmm. stuff to come in and and remember how important it is that you are water and you are affected by the moon cycles well, it's like the post office says, are you tracking your package? <laughs> so whatever you mailed at the first, at the new moon, you got to go see. Uh, uh, how's that How's that postage for it? You know, that, is, that is so funny. And sometimes it gets stuck at a post office. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, I mean, this is, hey, it is what it is. It, is. it is life. It is life. It's and happy, folks. Life. We're learning how to navigate it, you know, in the best way possible. You know, years ago, we did it without knowing and without intention. Right. And things right. just kind of happened. Um, but everything it's, is intentional now. Everything. Especially people who were used to following their intuition anyway. They were used to like, oh, I think I want to do so and so. Oh, I just feel like, oh, I don't usually, but this time. If you're used to following your instincts, you didn't necessarily have to be a trained astrologer or anything, you know, or empath or whatever. You were used to allowing whatever was on your plate to show so you could make use of, you know, 
do I want that? Do I want to ditch it in the garbage? Whatever. But you're picking up the signals from the universe. Right. Now, this time, I'm going to interject right here in this little spot. This is a wake-up call, folks. And it's coming from me. And I'm saying to you, I know you want to make certain changes in the world. I know that we've come together a lot of times. We talk about and share the fact that we have certain intentions for the world, for the planet. We have things, our pet projects, our pet charities, our this, that, the other. The thing is to make sure that you're spending 80% of your spiritual time working on you, on your stuff. Now, whatever that intention is, I but I want such and such an ill to be cured in the world. And but guess what? We didn't design this. We have no idea why the script was written as it is. We don't know what the next act is. So this that we're going through now may just be the setup for some other big wonderful thing in Act Three. Okay, so we're running around worrying about it when we didn't write this. We wrote it in a way of create, we agreed to come here and have this reality that we're all sharing, but we're not the all that is. And somebody up there knows a lot more about why it's going like it is. It's not to say that those things, those problems won't get straightened out, but there's a timeline. The big stuff is on a mass agreement. There's a whole mass of 8 billion people that agreed to be here right now. This is big stuff. You know, when, this, when the Coliseum fills up, you know it's a very popular act that's about to show and play. So there's a reason. There's never been 8 billion on the planet before. Something's up. Something big is up. We were all assembling at the ticket office. So... All right, so let's concentrate our energies on facilitating the positive thing we want to create, you know, the positive person we want to be. You can influence people a lot more by being a certain thing than lecturing them about a certain thing. So we got to be examples, and there's no way around it. Yes. You know? Yeah. And, and when you have, you know, negative or um, thoughts that are in opposition to what your desires are, turn those around. You know, yes. you can always turn around something to mean a positive. I mean, even... even ask for guidance. Ask, yeah, ask for guidance, but... And, and no. ask, ask for spirit's help. Ask for source's help. Um, and, and, and that opens so many doors. I have this huge axe. Now, what do you want me to chop? <laughs> but I do have a big axe. And what? I sharpened it, but that's the point where you stop and say, now, wait a minute. That's right. <laughs> I need and, more information. And you need to know what you really do want. <laughs> You know, because, yeah. you know, you know that old saying goes is be careful what you wish for. You just That's might. That's right. If you're and, running uh, forward with a weapon, make sure you're not standing in front of a mirror. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Truth. Truth. <laughs> oh, yeah. gosh. Well, it's so good to be here with everybody. You know, the, the holiday, Thanksgiving holiday for us here in America is behind us now. Christmas trees. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see I, that. I love I it. I did, did my decorating this weekend. Thank you very much. I thought it felt, I haven't, I haven't done, um, I don't know that I've ever done a speaking with Kate from this room. So <laughs> this is a uh. new and Mickey, I love your backdrop. That is oh, thank you. A, another is, corner of your living room. <laughs> yeah, it's across from where I'm normally seated with the blank so wall behind is, me. So. so this is what you normally see. Now we're seeing. Yeah, it. exactly. And that's okay. you know, an altar behind me with all kinds of crystals and stuff on it. Oh, and a shaker and all kinds of stuff. Nice. Well, speaking of that, I think there might be some altar building in our journey coming up. Oh, what do we got, Mickey? That's a shikare. It's an African instrument, percussion instrument. Oh. And I had this one custom made. Oh, my. Look at that. Recently. 
first oh, time I pulled it out. Beautiful. It came from America. Can you see there's an elephant? I do see the elephant. The guy is just wonderful. But I picked out the gourd from over here looking at, you know, he was showing me and I picked one and then he made it for me. Uh huh. And made that love. What does it, know, what does it sound like? Oh, we can't hear it. Nope. Interesting. So we can't hear any of that over here, Mickey. Mickey, your sound is gone, like all of you. <laughs> oh. oh, there you are. You're back again. Isn't oh, that okay. fascinating how that... I love it. I really do. And that's the very first time I've taken it out. Oh, well, thank you. I'm I'm honored <laughs> that it, it, it made its debut on Speaking yeah. with Katie. I had no idea I was going to open that. <laughs> oh, well, it was oh. meant, to be, meant to be. Well, you know me. I love leopard print, so... Well, that was beautiful. And I, I <laughs> love the case for it, too. It's gorgeous. Well, the guy made the case and everything. Uh-huh. Well, I'm it's sure. I mean, I would have sold it myself, but being away from it. Sizes, so it fit perfectly. Yeah, he needed to have something to mail it in and put this all packed in a box so that it right. wouldn't, you know, break. Yeah. Wonderful. So that's the end of my little show and tell. Thank you for being <laughs> Well, I love that. And, you know, here I am sitting here and I still have my little touchstone that I have had for, I don't Just know. Just like yours. Like two months. Yeah. yeah I've got, oh, yours is two months. Mine is two years. Well, I've had this for years, but this is, we, we set a touchstone and this was it. And this was my connection with source that I wanted a strong. Oh, look at you. So, so like yours, twins. Uh huh. This one is a Lumerine seed crystal. And what is your, yours is a quartz. Yeah. yeah. Which this is quartz too. Oh, well, yeah. Almost all of them are really, you know. Yeah. yeah. They get and, different minerals in them and it makes them turn color. Right, right. And this one, there is a inclusion in there that creates a heart. Nice. And I can see it, but if I turn it, I won't be able to show it to you because it's hard right. to find. Because it has to be really clear. It has to be just the right lighting. Let's see. Maybe, maybe could I do that? Let's let's see if I can. Oh, that's nice. I can see it. <gasps> see that's it right lovely. there? Yeah, I can see it. Isn't oh, that so nice? Yeah, I, I just love this. So this reminds me to have that connection to source all the time. Yeah. Well, and, and Joan's sitting here. She's holding on to howlite, and oh. she has a howlite that is shaped like a Christmas tree. Here, let oh. me show people. I'll show people. This is Joe's. Oh my oh, God! That's it's nice. Hot. Is it? It is hot. Really? It is on fire, girl. She just rakied it. She, ra she just rakied it, she said. Oh. Whoa, it's hot. Yeah. That's hot interesting. Night. Wow. That's very interesting. Carol so said. All the different wa crystal wands behind me. For another yeah. Day. Oh, nice. So Carol just said we weren't supposed to hear her instrument. You know, it just, and even your voice didn't come through. Oh, really? Yep. Nope. nope. Everything turned oh, off. It was that's very interesting it and is. goes and, with the day. And there are settings, I know, but I don't want to have to go through them now. But sometime when we have time, we'll go through the settings and we'll practice on that. And okay, that's Dr. very interesting. Dr. Katia is the one that taught me those settings. So <laughs> they're, they're on my computer now. I, I set them up when I was doing um, the interview with her when she was doing her singing bowl. Oh, I see. Yeah. I love those bowls. Oh. It was beautiful. That that was, if anybody wants to see a wonderful presentation, um, Dr. Kati, it's, it's on speaking. I remember with that. Uh, yeah, I love it. it. I love it. 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 I, wonderful. I hadn't taken mine out. They, when they came, I put them on top of a file cabinet, bright red file cabinet, and they've sat there for three years. And so oh. about a month ago, I suddenly took them out and put them in here on that altar. 
And then I sat Buddha on top of it. So okay. <laughs> well, right behind me. She's a vibration. vibration. See the white thing behind me? I, I do, yes. Well, that's, that's Buddha your... sitting on top. Okay. And that's the bowl. I turned it upside down so that it could fit. Okay. Very nice. So that yeah. way, you know, I'm more inclined to play it because I don't have to get up and go find it and unpack it. And... <laughs> right. I hear you. I hear you there. I'm back. Nice. <laughs> nice. So I, you know, I just really want to tell people to set your intentions and to release energies that feel stuck or that feel like they're holding you back. You know, and just let yourself relax, you know, enjoy this time of going within, go within, yeah. Listen. Yeah. you know, meditate. We're, we're going to do a journey today that's really going to be all about you. And, and I really want you guys to know that you go to your, to your lab or your creation room, your meditation room through the quantum door anytime you like. Like, this is just trying to give you some ideas of what you can accomplish, mm -hmm. right? So I, I, I'm definitely feeling like healing is in order for our yeah. friend, you know, yeah. so self-healing for all of us. And, mm -hmm. um, and, and it's just, it's a time for family and it's a time, you know, but as women, especially, you know, we tend to, you know, try to make everything perfect and we're making dinners and we're cleaning the house and decorating the house. Take the time to take care of yourself. Yes. Oh God, that's so important. It is, it is. And we should be because we are everything. And if something happens to us, who's going to do all that other stuff? You know, we have to be healthy and strong and we deserve it. We deserve the care that we give to everyone else. Yes. I agree. It's just, I mean, I know that we say the same stuff over and over and we find various different ways to say it, but we're trying so hard to get someone to pay attention and say, yes, I will actually look in a mirror before you even say anything, just at least agree to go stand there and look. You know how many people look in the, oh, I don't like to look in the mirror. I mean, what? Right. Your unique you, your footprint on this planet in this incarnation is staring at you from the mirror. What's yeah. not to like? Right, right. You know, I I receive um, Mike Dooley's tut. Um, yeah. The, the, the notes from the universe every day. Today's is so poignant. It is exactly that. It's like, Kate, when was the last time you looked in the mirror and said, hi, gorgeous? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, every morning I get up and I say, Kate, I love you. You're beautiful. I yeah. do that every day. So it's, I'm going to switch to using the word gorgeous. It, it is important. important. Yeah. Instead and of looking at yourself it's and great. saying, oh, I have a wrinkle. Oh, I don't like the way I look. I'm like, no, I'm amazing. Go look. <laughs> Yeah. A page no, of people who have disabilities that cause them to have a different look that is uh, that will affect their ability to integrate into the rest of the population. I'm putting it that way. I'm trying to put it in a positive way. But the thing is, I was screaming about I didn't get those beautiful Bowman uh, uh, shoes that I wanted until I saw someone who had no feet. So it's that syndrome take a chill pill, realize what you have and go from there, you know, and stop with the self-criticism and all that other garbage that nobody cares about. You know, a month after you're dead, no one even remembers that crap you were so upset about. Right. And this is a time of gratitude. So yeah. having gratitude for what you have, like I have gratitude, I have hair. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. So I have gratitude that I can see. I've been watching a makeup artist for two years now, learning and learning and learning and tutorials, and she talks a lot of stuff, and, you know, we laugh a lot. But she's bald. Absolutely, completely bald as a billiard ball. And she puts on a makeup. She's absolutely gorgeous. And she would put on a wig, say, how do you like this hat? How do you like this hat? But it's the fact that she has so fully accepted herself 
either way you come, you can't poke fun at her and make her feel bad about it. She's like, I've got a thousand and one looks. How many do you have? You know, she's fully accepting. And that's how we have to start to look at some of this stuff and say, wait a minute, what am I so upset about? Yes, right, I have right. a couple of gray hairs, but they're on my head. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. You know, they say, God don't make no junk. And that's true. Um, we're, we're well, all... I'm not sure about that one. They say um, God doesn't like ugly, but well, <laughs> I've heard that one too. I'm getting terrible. But... That's all right. But, you know, we, we are all sparks of God. Yes, we, we are. are. You know, e even in the Bible, it says that we were made in the image of God. Well, right. that doesn't necessarily mean that we all look like God, but we are, we are a part but of... But we're all what God looks like. And we... In yeah, a way. Because yeah, God is all it is. is. Absolutely. Yeah. We're reflecting and all with, these variations back, you know. And without each and every one of us, God wouldn't be complete. No, exactly. You know, it's a fractal universe. What can I right. say? So everything. So when you look in the mirror and you look into your eyes, that is absolutely so important that you are looking into the soul of God. Yes, exactly. And see I it. Love it. And feel I love it. I love it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why do people have so much trouble with the nerve to say that you're God? I mean, I beg your pardon? God that's all it is. That's right. And that's why we call it that. But that's literally all there is. Yeah. So. <laughs> so I honor each one of you. Mickey, I honor the God in you. And Joe, you. I honor the God in you. And Carol yeah. and Doreen, Audrey. And Dr. Katia, Let's see, is there anyone else on that I missed? No, I guess that's everybody I mentioned. I honor the God in every person that is watching this. Um, you are special and you're important, each one of you. <clears throat> yes, I agree completely. I um, had a nice little treat of, about two weeks ago and up until like yesterday or today, uh, a friend, you know, Kate, who I'm talking about, we're both on that website, but he has this thing of writing poems as if he's an object. There was one where he, or uh, another life form, but one was that, you know, he was a plate or something or whatever. And, oh, I get to serve you in this way and I get to demonstrate. But it's the idea that whatever the object is that he's viewing as, then you get this other view of how life can be seen. I never thought about it before. You know, I'm a tree, I'm a this, I'm a that. I never thought about it. But it's a pleasant way to reconfigure your viewpoint, you know. So not only look in the mirror and start to relate to that, start noticing that there's some other things in reality that there's their experience of being here is so completely different from ours. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it's the goldfish in the bowl who cannot believe you believe in air, I don't know what you're talking about. No, I don't I don't believe in air, you know. So we have a different way of looking at things. Yeah. And you can really expand your ability to pick up, your ability for intuition and everything starts to get bigger and bigger as you include bigger more and more things as you look outside your normal range you know and start to actually spend time thinking about oh that's a couch pillow it gets sat on all day and yet it's glad about it you know i mean little simple stuff i know that sounds very silly but yet it's true it is. I, I'm sure everybody here has read the Facebook post about the the twin um, embryos that are in their mama. Yeah. And, and yes. it says, well, I don't know. I think that I want to go and see what's outside of here. And the other one yeah, says, do you believe in mother? There's, there's nothing outside of here. This is right. the world. <laughs> You know? I keep hearing we're going to go out into something else. What do you mean out? What's out? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. So I don't it, believe it's, interesting. That. it's interesting yeah. to think in inanimate objects or in other sized people, beings, animals. Right. Think about being an ant. 
You know, here we look at ants and we see them and they crawl up trees and whatever. But what does that tree look like to an ant? Does it look right. like the earth? Does it look like, you know, a road? I, I, I don't know. What do they think of us? <laughs> I know. We're the people that step on them accidentally, yeah. of course. Accidentally. Accidentally, of course. But yeah. yeah. And, and think about your animals, you know. They just, they just want, they are so happy to see you come home and they just want to sit on your lap and lick your face and, you know, love you all up. And, and they just, they just want to make you happy and they want to be touched and held and talked to. Think about if that. If you go out and come back in, you get the same reception. Every They're time. Over again. They are. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it never gets old. Yeah, that's yeah. amazing. Oh, yeah. we yeah. react. Look, you've gone out and come back in five times. What do you want from me? <laughs> you know, but, but the animal is like, oh, oh, daddy's home again. Absolutely. Yeah. And again. Yeah. Yeah. So be happy. Be that. Be it's that a different creature. way of looking at stuff. It is. It is. And, you know, animals are always happy, really. I mean, do you ever see an unhappy animal, really? You know, they're they're just happy to be around. They're happy when you come near them. And well, Actually, I have seen some unhappy animals in other circumstances. But it makes you wonder about the karmic journey they're on and what they projected, depending on the owner they chose and what mm -hmm. their experience will be you know, under those circumstances. But yeah, they're in such a generally accepting stance. You know, life is life, whatever it is, okay, I'll deal with it. This is on my plate today. This is what I deal with today. Yeah, and, and it's hard for us humans in the past to have accepted, like I was one of those humans that, you know, just try to keep my head above water. And I felt like I was in a stream and I was trying to just go against the flow. And now that I know that intentions are really the way to manifest, you know, my life flows so much easier now that I'm not fighting against it and that I'm looking at things in a more positive light. Yeah, it, that has a lot to do with it. I'm kind of playing around with the idea of how much to actually exert force on an intention, so to speak, because I also am looking at the idea of uh, being patient to see what life is bringing you about a certain thing. I know we have our what we'd like to see happen and blah, 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 but I also want to know just what did I program? What's part of the actual program that I agreed to that's going to just play out? Mm -hmm. So the few times that I've experimented with it, things where I would have reacted and then I said, nope, I'm not going to, let's see how this goes. I was so shocked to discover that the solution that presented was so much better than the one I thought I needed. Uh -huh. You know, what I was asking for was nothing compared to what I got by being patient. So I started to look at that sequence of how things play out in a slightly <laughs> different manner. You know. Very, very nice. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Just, you know, life should be easy and and it can be, you know. It can we're, be. We're the ones that create difficulty. We create all kinds of things in our path. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, and you know what? We could go from here to here or we can go here, 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 up and around and, yeah. and still end up there. Exactly. Uh, and, exactly. and sometimes maybe that's what we put in our chart that we're going to come here and we're going to have all these adversities. And then you see the people that had it in their chart that they're just going to easy sail right into the home plate. But either way you do it, you still get there. It's right. It doesn't matter which way you choose. It's still the right thing to do. You were right. It's like some guy, some philosopher said, whether you think everything is wonderful or whether you think everything is terrible you're right <laughs> both you're right it's it, it is true yeah and, <laughs> and you know, what's right for me or you may not be right for what's you know what's right for Doreen or Carol mm -hmm. um you know and what's right for them may not be right for us and you know uh, but it's right for them so you know 
I, I always say when somebody says it's this way or the highway and this is the only right way, run the other way. <laughs> Go to the highway immediately. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, everybody, everybody is right. It is right for them. So I was reading earlier, uh, yesterday and today, but a lot more today. I was reading about a case where, uh, where you're examining the karma or the life path of twins where or just two children in a family where one child may have passed away um at 10 or 15 or 3 or whatever but the child is no longer in the family and then this these other children a child or other children lived on to be 50 60 70 80 whatever and it's about the difference in how that soul had chosen what their experience path would be you know and then they brought up another scenario I hadn't considered. You know how we talk about probable selves or counterparts or blah, blah, blah. It mentioned you're in this life and like I've reached the ripe age and you know, many of us are over 50 or whatever, but yet you may have other versions of you, other counterparts and stuff that passed on at 10 or 12 or as a baby. It had nothing to do with shortening your thing you're living it out in a whole different time frame, and yet there are all these other versions of you that are having a different experience. You know that gave me something to think about for a while. <laughs> yes, yes, and that's. I mean, we do talk about probable selves, and you know, usually we do talk about probable selves that are existing while we're existing. But you're right. You know, there are right. those others that have passed away earlier, but they are existing right now as well. Yeah, so. and they've moved into some other thing that they're, you know, doing. But gosh, it's a very they, they got to go home early. <laughs> <laughs> they had a pass. <laughs> and we'll see them and they'll help us when we get there. Yeah. That's yeah. It's are. just that it's all so varied it's all my god the list of alternatives and options and i don't know folks who say it life is boring they're boring because if you start to study <laughs> there's a lot going on you know i find it fascinating oh, just meditate on that you will see how much is going on right yes yes I I do want to jump in and say hi to Jamie. She is new here. Um, hi, Jamie. Yep, nice to see you. And Carol has a comment. She says, I like waiting patiently, just oh. living my life. I have had a good I have had good intentions where I desire to strongly backfire at times. Mm -hmm. I had that. Yeah. That that's that was like that's the swimming upstream that I was trying to do. I was always fighting against whatever life was, you know, right. was trying to let me flow into a good place and I did. I fought against it because I thought I knew better. You know, well, I if, thought, you're not, if you're not a salmon, that is not the way to go. <laughs> it is not and I am not even though I'm wearing they that. Dig it. <laughs> yeah, they wrote that in the their script. It's not it's not mine, no. It's so much easier when we let, when we just go nice and smooth with life. Um, That's why teaching your intuition could be so important. You want to be able to see the signs of what you're supposed to be doing, but chill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah. And, and, and don't, you know, I mean, sometimes we can, I, personally, I worry about things too much like I I try to I try to tear everything apart and examine everything and 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 dig 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 until I can find the beginnings of things and and most of the time that just isn't even necessary it's just a way to um keep me from living my life you know keep me from being in that flow it, it's like a block for me so yeah. those are things i'm working on and and that's something that i would really like to release during this full moon i'm learning it a little <laughs> it, it, it's, a, it's a hard one it's it's oh, stress hey you talk to a scorpio you're talking about stress <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't know what that means to a Leo, but I like to control things. Well, <laughs> so you're fire. Like to, hey, I like more controlling than fire. I know. I, I like to know why and how everything yeah. is happening because yeah. then I feel like 
if things change, I know how to change with it. But you know what? You don't have to know everything. I don't have to know everything. No. It's all about trust issues, isn't it? You need to be in control is about whether or not you're going to trust Mm -hmm. that it's going to be all right the way you go, you know, whatever. Oh, it's okay. Come on with it. Let's see. We got this. Right. (laughs) And since I started trusting in the universe, I'm doing better than ever, you know. I agree. It's becoming more apparent to me that this stuff really does work. Well, if you haven't tried it, this approach, it's hard to get you to understand how true it is or how pleasant it can be because that whole thing of, but what if, but, but, well, if you can put that down for a moment and try a different method, try a different way of approaching it, you get some real surprises. You really do. And it's serious, you know, to do that, to change your focus or define your focus or pay attention to your focus. You know, it's all about that. That's why we're here. We're here here. to be who we are. That's it. Now define that. Right. And we are perfect as we are. Yeah. Yeah. We've got the dance card book, but we don't have much in it. So it's all about, well, what did you write? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so. I love it. Do you realize that we have been on for almost 45 minutes already? Oh, wow. That's quick. I, I know. The time just flies by. It um, does. It, it does. does. And, and, and even though we do kind of say the same things every two weeks when we're here. <laughs> um, well, we try to find a different know. way. We keep trying to find a different way of putting it. Because we're hoping one of them will work. Yeah. I tried a lot of different, I listened to a lot of different folks saying, this is, but this is the spiritual path, but this is, it took a while, folks. I tried a lot of different things. I kissed so many spiritual frogs. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> <laughs> and and we keep trying different things because not everything is going to resonate with everyone. So we like to give you options that, you know, we may hit on just one thing that you're like, oh, oh, I can use that. And and that's all that that's all that we need. You know, that's all that you need. Um, and and whatever works for you is going to be exactly yeah. right for you. You know, yeah, exactly. We're, you're never going to say that, oh, you're doing that wrong. People say that to me all the time. They're like, well, how do I do it right? And I'm like, you can't do it wrong. Exactly. Only, the only way you can do it is wrong is to choose not to do it. It's right. And even that isn't wrong. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, ultimately, if that's what you wrote for this time, fine. Live in your truth and enjoy it. It's not mine. I choose to do it a different way. Right. But if that's your thing, boo, you know. <laughs> right, right. So you, every, every religion, every um, every country, everybody is right. They are doing what's right for themselves. For them, yes. Yes, but, but no one should impose their rights, will on anyone. Like that. Well, we have the freedom to move around and find the thing that is more appropriate than whatever you're experiencing. Mm-hmm. There's nothing wrong with deciding to to move away from instead of cleave to an old traditional way of looking at things. You can be just as much a part of a particular religion if you adopt a modern look at it as you can just doing it all by rote and not paying attention to any of it. It's mm-hmm. all about being here now. That's what it's about. You know, I think that was Werner Earhart who came out. Be here now. Very expensive seminar. Well, <laughs> everything is the now. Be it is. now. Right? That's that's the you that's know all there is. Yeah. When I worked when I worked with the hospice people, they they so were in the now because yeah. You know, it made them sad to think about the past and right. they had no idea what their future was. So yeah. they really did live in the now. And and I, everybody that I worked with was happy. 
Yeah, that's and, interesting. And they were dying, like they yeah. were with hospice, but they were happy. And they were happy to, you know, and they cared, you know, they cared about how I felt or how the other nurses felt or yeah. you know, how was their day? How was your um, uh, holiday? Whatever. I have, oh, maybe before we end, that I one of my hospice patients gave me um, an ornament and I put it on oh. my tree every year and I always think of him and I love him dearly, you know. Oh, that's nice. He that's was my... Nice very first hospice patient and he was the happiest guy in the world oh that's nice but he's that's so cool. he just lived in the now for his family and uh and he was just a great guy he loved the oh my god who was it the um oh my god it's a football team i can't think of it green bay packers he was oh. a, he actually owned a stock of green bay packer he was so happy that he was an, an owner I used to be a fan of them. Yeah. I was. As a kid, I was quite a Packers fan. Uh, well, and, you know, um, but it, it's the small things that were in his life or any of our lives that really yeah. make him happy. You know, when I look at the different ornaments on the tree, like I have little wooden ones, I painted those when I was pregnant oh. with my first child. Those oh. ornaments are 47 years old. Wow. Yeah, yeah, and I made them, and the energy in them is like I love them. I I had a hundred of them, but my grandson Joey took half. Oh, <laughs> so, he's, so he's like, oh, I want this one, Nana, and I want this one, and I want this one. And you know what? And I was so grateful to give them to him because it was his mother right. when I was right. pregnant with her. And um, but the children today, they do live in the moment and they are happy for what they have. And some of them have a lot and some of them have a little, but they're happy for whatever it is that they do have. Mm -hmm. I love our children today. It's, it's changing. Slowly, it is. almost imperceptibly, but there are some big changes happening, yeah. especially to the old guard, to the, well, this is how it has to be. Well, no, not really. You can think that, but... I choose to think differently. Yeah. Right. Exactly. People don't apologize for thinking differently. No, you, I hope you're happy with that because I'm over here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad. Oh, I'm so glad. You know? yeah. We chose to come here at a very poignant time in the life of the world. The planet, you know? yeah. I keep hearing that from various channels yeah. and psychics and so forth and people who had NDEs, you know, and mm -hmm. all of that stuff, near-death experiences and out of bodies, they all coming back now with the same tale. You know, so and I've old. heard I've heard from several that were halfway there, halfway yes. there. And yes. when you think about it, Seth said way back when that in 2070 it would be all over. Well, from right. when he said that to now is about halfway. It's a little yes. more than half right now. Yeah. yeah. I think we're we're over the top and we're coming down and we're we're in the home stretch people oh, it's a big we're change. here to experience this and to see it happen there's, there's going to be some big changes no doubt about it and <clears throat> people have been saying it for over 20 years and back then people were poo pooing the idea but there's not much you can say now to argue against the fact that there are some massive changes coming down the pike it's already happening you're looking at it you're stepping over it it's rolling and you step over what's happening mm -hmm. so yeah we're in the middle of it and there was a reason we came to be here at this particular time to see what was going on here's the real story of how it went you know <laughs> yeah yeah so, this is all a massive change it is. It is. And and I am I'm so looking forward to it. I mean, it's very exciting and you know, I I know, I know I've done past life regressions and I know that I've lived in many other times and I've lived in some times that were life-changing as well. Mm -hmm. um, but but this time, like according to many of the channels and the teachers that are speaking now, this time it's going to stick. This time it's going to work. It's going to take the full gamut, and we're going to be. Yeah. Able to. And yeah. I'm, I am, I am so looking forward to the fact that I'm here and I'm a part of the change. I'm I agree. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of us are. It's a privilege. Yeah, be here together, you know, and 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 the support that we show each other, like that's an important piece too, is that we are here to support each other. You know, Mickey and I are here, um, whether you text us or you know text on the on the. Um, any of the YouTube or the Facebook um, presentations, right. you know, we, we're going to see it. We're going to answer. You know, I, I get an email if you make a comment on the YouTube stuff and on the Facebook stuff, I get notifications. Right. And, and you know, we, we, we care. We care about you. We care, you know, what's happening to you and we care about your spiritual journey. Um, and, and that's why we were so happy, you know, to help Audrey last night. Yes. And, and maybe Audrey just needed to talk to a friend. And that was all that was necessary. Um, mm -hmm. but, we immediately you know, started sending energy. Sending. I asked her to, you know, close her eyes and just relax and just feel the energy that she would be receiving. And, and no sooner had I started was, you know, Mickey's like, can, can I call you? Can we do this? You know, and we did it together. Mm -hmm. right. so, I love it. I love it. And I love it that she's home and she's okay. And she's right I'm here. I'm so me. glad. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna shout out to Martin. I don't see him on, so I'm right. guessing. Right, I was thinking you know, about that. Well, Martin is he's customer service at Walmart, so right. I'm sure that he is very busy this time. Oh of year. wow, yeah, this is the time he's dancing on hot coals. Yeah, but I'm oh. gonna shout out to our <laughs> Martin because I'm sure he'll be watching this later on, and we, right. we love him. He's here almost every single one we do. He shows up. Yes. Audrey sent a big heart. Big oh, heart. Oh, that's nice. Hugs yeah. to you, sweetheart. Back to you. Yeah. To you. Yeah. Well, I don't know what anybody think. Should we ready for this journey? Mm. Think we're yes, ready let's for do this. Um, you know, and I, I, I mean, Mickey gives me her feedback, but I don't really hear from too many of you. Uh, I don't hear any complaints. So I guess what we're doing, <laughs> people like. <laughs> <laughs> I hear some people say they go deep, and that's awesome. I love that. Um, I think I have a little bit of little 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 surprises planned. So yes. All yes. right. So I want everybody to just kick back, relax, lay down, or put something behind your head. Just you know, really, really. Yeah, I'm in a great moment. big easy chair this time. There you go. So I just want everybody to just close your eyes, take a deep breath in and out, and again in and out, and just settle down into the place where you're sitting right now. And I think I'm going to start by relaxing the body just a little bit before we do our three to one count. So I'd like for you to just focus on the part of the body that I mentioned. And when you focus on it, pay attention to that place and tense the muscles a little bit and then relax them. So focus on the very top of your head, your scalp, and relax. And now focus on your facial features, your eyes, your eyebrows, your cheeks, your nose, your lips, your jaw. Relax that jaw. Take another deep breath. Focus on your neck, how it's holding your head up. Hopefully it's supported right now. Relax your neck. Focus on your shoulders. They hold so much. And just let them relax 
Let them slide down. Let your shoulder blades slide down. And let's focus on your arms. And let them relax to your side or in your lap. And your fingers, clench them, make a fist. And then just let it go. Wiggle those fingers. Let all the tension go out, just the tips of your little fingers. Focus on your chest and your breathing. And relax. With every large inhale and exhale, you relax deeper and deeper. Now focus on your torso, your belly and relax. And your hips. And relax that area. And your legs, your upper legs, your thighs. Relax them. Relax your calves, your ankles. Relax your feet and your toes. And again, clench those toes and wiggle them and relax them and let the energy flow right out of them. Let that energy flow right down to the earth. Beautiful. Now I want you to imagine the energy coming into your crown from the universe. Universal energy coming in your crown through your third eye, through your throat area, your heart, your solar plexus, your sacral, your root, and then let that energy go all the way down your legs to your toes and out your feet to the earth. This is our connection to the divine, all that is the universe and the earth that we stand upon. We are now so grounded in receiving all the love and support the universe has to give. Now, we're gonna do our three to one count. And you guys know the drill from here. We go down our 10 steps into our meditation room. So let's do that now. Visualizing and saying to yourself, three, 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 then two, 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 then one, one, one. Okay, so let's take a deep breath in. Three, three. Two, two, two. One, one, one. Beautiful. And know that with each deep inhale, all the way down to your belly, and then exhaling, you go deeper and deeper within yourself to your heart space. Now imagine, if you will, a staircase from where you are that leads into your heart space, into your meditation room. The stairs are carpeted, so they make no noise. The handrail is to your right, and it's wooden, and it's warm, and it's smooth. And we're going to walk down these steps ever so slowly, going deeper and deeper within, standing on the top step. 10, 9, 8, deeper and deeper, 7, 6, deeper still, 5, 4, deeper and deeper, 3, 2, 
deeper and deeper. One, you are now at a deeper level of mind. You are within your heart space. And when you look around in this meditation room, you'll see that we have a quantum door, an elevator, some windows, a fireplace, couch or a lounge chair, and a door that goes to our lab or creation room. We can feel this, we can see this, we can decorate this room any way we see fit. It is comfortable, it is safe. And this is the place that we can go when we want to be within ourself, reaching out to our source, asking source to be with us, asking our source to assist us and guide us. Now we're going to go into our creation room, into our lab. And as we walk through that door, we see our desk with our big chair and two screens. And those screens have beautiful velvet coverings over them. So let's just remove those coverings for now and turn those screens on and we just have to imagine that they are on. And while they're warming up, let's go over to our healing table and let's just lay down on that table. Get yourself situated. Put a pillow under your knees, All right? That helps with your lower back. So it supports you. So we use things to support us and we ask, our source self to support us. So as we're laying down, close your eyes, take a deep breath in and out. And again, a deep breath in and out. And now with intention, we ask our source self that is right beside us, standing beside this table to heal us, to clear and cleanse us of anything that we see or feel emotionally or physically, anything that we want to remove that is hindering us from moving forward or hurting us that we're holding on to. Just allow those things to be let go and our source will take care of them. And I wanna give us just a few moments to be here on this table to release anything that needs to be released. Any old emotions, any new emotions, just let it go and let your source work with you. Good. Now that everything has been released, you can just shake your hands a little bit. Just get rid of any lasting things that might be hanging on. And now ask your source to heal you, to heal your mind, to heal your body, to heal your soul. can ask your source to tell you 
what they're doing. You can ask your source anything. Just allow your source to work with you. And I'm going to give you a few moments for this. Now your source is saying to you that the healing is taking place and that you will be fine. And your source helps you to sit up slowly and gently, hands you a glass of water that you drink gratefully. Now is the time that you can speak to your source. Tell your source how you feel. What did you feel during this procedure? And after you're done, you can ask your source for what your source felt and sensed and did. So again, I want to give you some time with your source to just interact together. You know, maybe it's just hugging. The love between you and your source, there is no separation there. So again, take the time to have a conversation with your source. for the help and the guidance that it has been giving you and will always give you. You just need to ask. Now that you feel refreshed and healed like new, let's go back over to our creation screens and sit down in your big chair you are becoming the creator of your reality sitting here. So you see that your screens are on. The screen on the right is where you create. The screen on the left is where you can delete. All you have to do is swipe left to get rid of it. So what we're going to create today is an altar. I don't know if you all have altars or not, or you may have several in different locations, but we're going to create one here in our heart space. This place where we can go to be alone, share our most intimate thoughts and feelings, speak and hear from our source. And we can create anything we like. So let's do a little practice right now. The first thing I'd like for you to do is create an apple. See it on the screen. It can be a red, delicious apple. It could be a little red Macintosh apple. It could be a green Granny Smith apple. Whatever kind of apple you want to create. See it on your screen. And you can use your hands to manipulate this. Right? You can 
and turn it, you can actually pull it right off your screen and hold it in your hand. You can bring it to your nose and smell it. Mm. Touched your lips. It feels cold and smooth. You can take a bite. It's crisp and delicious. How beautiful is that? Now you can put it back on the screen. And we don't really need that apple anymore, so you can swipe left and just push it over to the deletion screen. Now, if you really want to keep that apple, you can just turn the channel and save it. Save it on your right screen. Beautiful. Now that you have all your senses working down here, your sight, your smell, your taste, your touch, I love it. So now we're going to imagine on the screen an altar. It can be a table, it can be a mantle, it can be anything you want it to be. And I would like for you to imagine a beautiful cloth covering it. It can be any color that you like, any fabric, any design. It is all up to you. Try a different couple couple different kinds out. You'll find the one that you like the best. Good. Maybe you just like wood. Maybe it's made of a stone and you just like that. Whatever you want to do, it's entirely up to you. Good. Now, we would like to put some things on our altar that are very meaningful to us. So, I'm going to give you some ideas. For me, I would like to put my touchstone on my altar. I love stones. You can put a photograph of an important yogi or teacher or guru that you have. If you are of a religious order, you can put something there that is meaningful. Um, you could put beans there. It can be um, prayer beads. Buddhist prayer beads, could be Catholic rosary, or it could just be a necklace with beautiful stones that you love. Why, you can put a lightsaber on here. The sky is the limit. You can create anything in this room, anything. You can have beautiful plants. Whatever it is, it is meaningful to you will be exactly right for your altar. There will always be one certain thing that is the most special of all. Something that you hold very dear. Now when your altar is complete, might have candles or you may have another way of lighting it. Maybe the lightsaber lights it. You can place this altar anywhere you like in the heart space. You can keep it here in the creation room. You can 
put it in the meditation room. You, you, can, you can take it up to the penthouse, anywhere you like. And I'm gonna give you a few moments to finish your altar and place it wherever you see fit. When you have finished, dial that in and save that station. It's always going to be here for you. So now look around your creation room. And if you need anything from the refrigerator to take with you, now is the time. You can ask your source, you know, what you need. If there's something else that you need to create, take the time to do that now. Maybe something you need immediately or something you put in the refrigerator. Look into Source's eyes and say, I love you. I love you, Source. And know that you really are just looking in a mirror. Source is within you. our creation room now and walk into our meditation room. And we can just sit here for a moment, just taking in all that we created. That we dialed in the station. And that our altar is set for the next time we come down. Tell your source that you are open and that you will visit on a regular basis. And you're so grateful for the love and attention and the guidance. Now I would like for everybody to just, just relax into this moment. I'm going to count to five and we're going to come back to this room. I'm going to wake up a little bit, wake our bodies up. One, two, coming out of this journey that we've been on. Three, four, coming out of this journey again, a little bit more getting moving. Five, open your eyes. You are wide awake, feeling absolutely wonderful, remembering everything that happened. Now wiggle around, stretch, and hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Oh, wow. 
that was kind of amazing. Um, I, uh, I put my altar over the mantel in my fireplace in the meditation room. So now when I come down my stairs and I look to the left where my fireplace is, that's where all my most important things are. And I can remember this, this meditation that we had, this journey that we took and know that we can create anything, anything that we can imagine in that room, just like our apple. Welcome back, Mickey. That was really deep. <laughs> uh, that was deep. I enjoyed it. It was really serious, though. I forgot to even look at what time it was. All I know is it, it wasn't that... light at all. It was very deep. In my case, it was deep. Yeah. I loved it. Nice. You definitely have a way with leading us through these corridors of universe. Thank you. And and we didn't, this time we didn't even go anywhere. No. We went That's within. Okay. We went within and we were the great creators. But well, once we walk into our creation room, our lab, it's already open-ended to all else that there is. completely open to the universe. Whatever way we choose to grab a chunk of it and name it, you know, this is my so-and-so and this is my, as you say it, you're creating the truth of that in the universe. Absolutely. So this was heavy. I so enjoyed it. I'm should. exhausted though. I'm spiritually exhausted. <laughs> I should say relaxed, but you know, it's yes. deep. It is very relaxed and, and, you know, usually I'm watching the clock. I didn't open my eyes at all this time. No. It was... Hi, Joe. Hello. <laughs> Joe's, Joe's just sitting there kind of like, Ooh, what just mm -hmm. happened? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope everybody out there is doing okay. Audrey, Carol, Jamie, Doreen. Katya, um, I thank all of you for joining us. Um, I think maybe that, you know, I, I did talk about having a glass of water when we were in our creation room, but please do that for real. <laughs> have, yeah. have, have some water that is very grounding. It's also very cleansing. And again, that pull of the moon is on the water in our bodies. Yeah. So, yeah. And and you know what? Shake out that stuff that's stuck. You know, if there's anything left. I mean, I was shaken during the meditation. I seized it out. You're good. That's right, Joe. I, I and I, I coughed a couple of times and stuff. I just well, Joe, I Joe, Joe is sitting here, and I can hear her trying to muffle herself. <laughs> That's okay. We're all human and, you know, we're going to do things in our own ways. Well, it's so different for her since she's right there with the person speaking. You can't mute her so much. <laughs> oh my God. Audrey said she had a coughing fit too. <laughs> I did too. Isn't that interesting? Oh my yeah. gosh. Well, that's the way we're just going to let it out. We'll let it go. Ah, uh, it was really, really affecting interesting affecting. yeah it, it definitely made an impact do you think that the relaxation of the body in the beginning was a help to it going deeper because i don't know that i've ever done that before it just kind of well, started almost, coming out of my mouth almost every one of the official courses i've ever participated in did that mm -hmm. and it's <laughs> It's something about walking us down in pieces. It's like the attention flows through the body in chunks, in, in steps. And there's something about that that works beautifully. Now, there are plenty of times when I just go three, 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 two, 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 one, one, one. Boom. <laughs> you know, and sometimes that's it. I open my eyes and come out. 
but I might do that three times. And there's just something about it. It works every time. You get there and then you come out and you get there and you come out. Well, by the third or fourth time you do it, you get there and you're glad as hell to be there. You don't want to come back out. Right. You're like, and, okay, and, this worked and I'm here. And when you do it the three times, it actually puts you into a far deeper place than if you Much. did it once. Yeah, we, we tried that once and it was very effective. It was. It really so was. I'm, I do that at home quite a bit. I'm glad that you do do that. Of course, you were you also studied by the master, um, Bert <laughs> Bert Goldman. Yeah, your patient thing. Yeah, yeah. Guy, yeah. Audrey said she liked it and she needed the relaxation. So mm -hmm. I'm so happy, Audrey. Tell me, what about the healing parts? What did your source have anything to say that you want to share? And, and if you don't want to share, that's okay too. Um, but I, there was something about the sor source cleansing mm -hmm. everything and clearing it and then just healing the body. Mm -hmm. Like I could hear creaks and cracks and different like little things, little adjustments. Interesting, yeah. Well, when you start about looking to the face of your source, I saw yeah. a mirror. Yeah! <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Now, that is you it. Um, Audrey said that her source said to let go. Ah, yes. Ooh. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. Somebody told me to eat that apple. And I ate it. Joe's <laughs> source said to eat that apple, and she ate it. Right, that's good. I love it. I took a bite out of mine. It was really good. It was a Macintosh. Well, you know, that's one of the new sayings that the kids are using now when they say that somebody really did a good job on something. If you were performing a song and you really, instead of saying you killed it, they're now saying, oh, she ate that. Really? Oh, I never yes, heard that. That's before. the new one. Oh, she ate that. <laughs> Carol um, just posted a comment. She said she was suddenly uncomfortable in her heart and it was aching and her source took that. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that. wow. That's beautiful. Ooh. Yeah. Beautiful. And, and know that your source is in that mirror. It's in your eyes. You, your right. source is within you. And all you have to do is close your eyes and ask your source to be there. You can use 333-222-111 or not. You know, that's my way. Whatever well, um, works for you. Absolutely. And, um, but ask source to assist you or what you need. If you don't even know what it is, just, just be with source. Yeah, I agree. I love it. I love it. Well, it is 301. <laughs> it is. It is. Time flies by so fast when we do this. Like, it feels like we just got on. Oh, okay. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. So I am going to close this one. I'm going to say goodbye to everybody for now. Bye for now. And we will be back for the new moon in about right. two weeks. I'm not exactly sure what the dates are on that, but I will let people know beforehand. Um, hopefully a few more days before this one. I apologize for the late notice, but with all the <laughs> holidays and things and Christmas may be no different. Um, but it should be around, should be around the 15th or so of the month so about mid mid December should be the new moon sometime um, but if anybody you know has any desires wants wishes let me know yeah I could be Santa <laughs> <laughs> well I thank everybody for being here I especially thank Mickey my partner you're wonderful thank you thank you I enjoyed it too thank you Kate that was beautiful. Uh, and Audrey, everybody, thanks to everybody out there. We love you so much. Audrey is sending love to all with a big red heart. I love oh, it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Bye.